We are continuing to talk about descriptive statistics and once again whether what we have, uh, what we're seeing right now, what's happened in the past um, is based on our sample or is it based on reality. And so what we've done is we've gone in and we've looked at the normal distribution so that we can once again remind ourselves that uh, the data that we have is not always exact. Uh, there is variability to it. We refer to it as the standard deviation. And then we took that standard deviation and we started thinking about with that normal distribution, calculating um, the probability that something has happened based on a Z statistic. We're going to go ahead and continue that right now. Again, just a quick reminder. Normal distribution told us that with this coffee shop um, problem, the average is $4.18, that 50% of the sales are less than $4.18, 50% of the sales are above $4.18. I can go back into this idea of a Z statistic, which says that if I go one standard deviation below, that that is a Z of minus 1.0, and that there's approximately 16% of all of my sales are going to occur with a Z of minus 1.0 or less, which is $3.34, all right? Any of the other numbers in there we can plug in. We learned how to calculate the Z statistic using the formula. We looked at how we would take that Z statistic, go back to Appendix D, look up the value. And so what I wanna do now is just take a real quick look at how are we going to calculate probabilities of something occurring just due to random variation based on our average and standard deviation so we can start putting the picture together a little bit more completely. Let's take for example uh, for this, if we were looking at what's the probability that the very next customer that walks into the store it's going to spend less than $4.26. What I want you to do is I want you to get in the habit of doing this in three steps. I want you to draw a picture, okay? Picture starts with a normal distribution. Draw it out. We know that in the middle, the average is 4.18. That was given. We also know that what we're talking about now is what's the probability that the next customer will spend more than $4.26. So let's draw in $4.26 over here because it's bigger than $4.18. And we're looking at the probability of it being more than $4.26. So we'll kind of color in this area again. So there's my picture. Step two, calculate the Z statistic. Z equals the data value that I'm looking at minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. Again, the Z is telling me how many standard deviations am I away from the mean. When I calculate it, this says I am 0.1 standard deviations away from the mean. It's positive, which means that I am to the right. Okay. Now, the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Z table, Appendix D, look it up, and I'm going to find out that according to the Z table, that all of the probability going up to a Z of 0.1 is 0 0.5. 398 or 53.98%. So the probability that the next customer will spend less than $4.26, and I think I may have said that incorrectly before, the probability that the next customer spends less than $4.26 really is there's a 53.98% chance that they will spend less than $4.26. All right, now let's flip that around just a little bit. <clears throat> now let's say what happens if the next customer comes in is going to spend more than $4.70. Okay, draw, my, draw the uh, uh, diagram. Middle is 418, 470 is here. I'm interested in the um, more than $4.70. All right, I calculate my Z statistic. I get a Z of 0.62. I looked that up in my Z table. My Z table says that 
I'm sorry, 73.24% is the percentage that comes up to here, which means that the area that's colored in is what's left over. So 100% minus 43.24% is only 26.76% that is left over here. Okay. Once again, I can calculate the less than by doing it this way. Less than $4.26 is really what just pops up from the Z table. If it is more than the value, then I'm really looking at the 100% minus this. And then the last thing that we can do for probabilities is we can say what's the probability that two different things are going to occur. One of them, that I am going to either spend more than $4.70, or I'm going to spend less than $4.26. So you can kind of see conceptually that what's going on is whenever I draw the picture, I'm interested in this area plus this area, which means that whenever I calculate my statistics, for the, and we've already done this in the previous ones, the probability of less than 4.26 was 53.98%. Okay. The percentage that would be coming in above $4.70, we did that here in this step. That was 26.76%. So all I'm really doing is I'm taking this percentage, this, plus this percentage, to come up with my new uh, answer. Again, draw the once you draw the picture, determine how you're gonna calculate things, I think it will start make sense to you on uh, calculating those percentages, okay? So we've come a really long way now. We've started thinking about a normal distribution, Z values, and what's the probability that something is going to occur just based on the uh, uh, normal distribution instead of based on the uh, overall uh, sales.